Today I will be sharing with you my honest experience of living in Thailand as a foreigner. We will also be doing some research together as we find out what expats are saying about life in Thailand. So to give you some important context, I've lived in Thailand on and off for the past five years. My main base is in the Philippines, however I have lived in other countries. I say this as it gives me a fantastic opportunity to compare Thailand with other Southeast Asian countries. So in general, life in Thailand will differ depending on whereabouts in Thailand you choose to live. For the majority of my time, I lived in a popular city in the north called Chiang Mai. In the north, you'll find that the cost of living is much lower, the locals are friendly, and it's a more relaxed lifestyle. I know that there are some expats who have a very negative viewpoint of Thailand, and we will be speaking about that very shortly. But it is a very livable and beautiful country. However, I would add that in my experience, where expats choose to live does shape their opinion opinion of Thailand. So let's talk about the capital Bangkok. It is a busy and expensive city and you have to be a certain type of person to enjoy living in Bangkok. If you are an introvert, it's not the best place to live in Thailand. However, if you want to meet new people, you want to party, or you want to improve your social life, Bangkok is amazing. So this topic covers fears or dislikes of foreigners. Certain government figures have gone on record to speak negatively about foreigners. Thais call foreigners Farang, and I'm not sure if this applies only to white people or also the Chinese or other Asian communities who are commonly living in Thailand. But whatever the case, there has been reports of discrimination. Discrimination can be common. Many places will have a price for locals and a price for foreigners, for example. This is not a big deal as it's only often a little bit of money, but for many expats, it's the principle. I agree 100% everybody should be treated fairly, but in Thailand, foreigners are often seen as wealthy, so unfortunately, I don't think this is going to stop anytime soon. Over the years, when I've been speaking Speaking to some expats about this topic, they've said to me, Jamie, it's not corrupt in the Western world, it's only in Southeast Asia. Well, corruption is everywhere. Corruption is in Asia and in the West, it's just a lot more visible in Asia. There have been reports of police corruption over the years. Unofficially, I've heard stories of people buying their way into power, but I don't know how true this is. It's important to note that corruption does not only affect foreigners. Many reports have also been made by local ties. But in terms of rights and law, it appears that foreigners do not really stand much of a chance. So let's take a look at what the expats are saying. God, I spend so much time on this website. Anyway, it doesn't matter. Because like me, after 28 years here, we are sick of being handled like easy pickings by corrupt police, strict immigration rules, dodgy people everywhere, and because it has become more expensive to live here as in Europe, Wow, okay. Uh, retirees invited to come and relax in the old age is BS because visa extension and 90 day reporting is endless. Okay, so this guy is an experienced expat and he's lived here for nearly 30 years. So I agree prices have changed a lot over the years, but it's still pretty cheap in areas such as the north. But yes, yeah, some areas have become a little bit more pricey. And yes, the 90 day reporting is a common problem for expats. This is not just for retirees, by the way, this is for many visa types. And this is something to be made aware of if you're planning to move to Thailand. So let's take a look at another comment. So so scams, taxis, tuk-tuk guys, motorbike guys. Okay, the first eight taxi drivers wanted to scam me by charging me four times the price of a ride to just over the bridge from downtown, perhaps half a mile. So the total should have been 200, 250 to 275, but they wanted 600 to 800. Okay, yes, I completely agree with the taxis, especially when you get to the airport. However, there are two great apps that you can use if you're coming to Thailand. Grab and Bolt are the main ones however there are some more and both these services are taxi services where you can get a fixed rate before you book because yeah some of the taxis can be a nightmare okay so this guy says there are uh, very valid reasons that some might decide to relocate here to another expat community or back home life in Thailand is still less costly than a lot of places but not the extent it was 15 or 20 years ago yeah so the inflation rate is something that I looked at recently and it's quite high 
high in Thailand as it is in other countries, not as high as in other Southeast Asian countries, uh, luckily, but it is around 7% at the time of recording this video, so it is something to consider. There also seems to be a lot of comments here about the immigration policies, the rising prices, and also expats speaking about how times have changed in Thailand over the years. So one thing to remember is that there are pros and cons in all countries in Southeast Asia. I say this because through my videos we talk about the good and the bad and I try to focus on the facts as much as possible because I want you to see the full picture. In Thailand most places are beautiful, most people are awesome and most visits are trouble free. You know, often in life you get out what you put in, and that's the same when you live in Thailand. If an expat is dating a woman from the clubs, he might get the impression that all Thai women are like that, but that's not the full picture. If the expat only stays on the islands, he might think Thailand's life is like that, but again, this is not the full picture. I don't say this to try to defend Thailand, I say this because it's true. There are a lot of videos out there on the topic of expats leaving Thailand. Why? Well, because as YouTubers we, you know, we need views to grow the channel, but the truth is not all expats are leaving Thailand. There are some who dislike Thailand, there are some that say Thailand has changed over the years, but there are also some who enjoy living in Thailand, and I suspect it's going to be the home to many expats over the upcoming years. 